Good day. My name is Peter Harris and I'm an Advertising Art Director and a recent convert to the glorious world of cruising. Uh, my wife and I in the last few years have done uh, two cruises, one with Princess, one with Pino, and about to launch off on another Pino cruise in a couple of months' time. Um, as a loving grandfather and parent, um, we were looking to get something to take home as a souvenir of the trip for the family, for the grandkids particularly, for our daughters and grandkids. Um, and we looked around, we bought a few t-shirts and we bought a little pirate book and the usual fare. Couldn't find anything that was really what we were looking for. Um, so I put my other hat on, that of a successful games design with some, a couple of dozen games designed and marketed in the last uh, 20 years. Came up with a game that we'd like to present to Carnival Cruises. The game is called Cruise the World, and it's a simple to play board game, read the rules in two minutes and know how to play it, and it reels it down to a sea law with folklore. Every question is about oceans or ships, seagoing nations, sea life, true or false, or about people. Um, just a quick look at the board. It's a bright and colourful board, as it should be for a thing like this. And incidentally, I've worked with Jerry Crown, the CNO of Crown and Andrews, and probably Australia's most dominant games man. Uh, he's worked with me on this, and he's absolutely sure that it's a good, family, entertaining game and be very good value. It's a simple question and answer game, and to win it, you've got to answer one question from each category. When you answer that question, you land or you put your marker on one of these spots. So in, in order to win the game, you need to answer six questions correctly to have your marker be first to put them on, six, on those six spots there. Just to give you an indication of the questions, I'll show you the cards. These are the Cruise the World cards. There'd probably be seven or eight hundred questions, so there's plenty of playability in this game. And the, um, the categories of the questions, for instance, I'll give you a couple of examples. Oceans, which ocean borders Asia, Africa, Antarctica and Australia? It's the Indian Ocean. People. Name the actor who played Captain Jack Sparrow in the Pirates of the Caribbean movie. That's Johnny Depp. Countries. In which country would you find Wellington Harbour? Well, obviously, that's New Zealand. So that's an indication of the style of questions, and there's, uh, that's ed entertaining and educational. Um, that's probably it. That's all I need to say about the game. But as we say in the advertising and market industry, but wait, there's more. Because we've also looked at Plan B. All should creative directors should have a Plan B. And that Plan B is low-cost jigsaw puzzles. We've come up with a couple of new formats and we'd like to present them to you. Now, if you're interested enough to have a look, look at the next uh, YouTube and you'll see a demonstration of that. Uh, anyway, I'll just say thank you very much for listening. Much appreciate your time.